With more on this, I want to bring in Andrew Oak, First Lady biographer and author of Unusual for Their Time on the Road with America's First Ladies. Good morning, Andrew. Thanks for being back on our program. Good morning, Marcia. Nice to be with you. So speaking of unusual for their time, uh, how unusual is it that Melania Trump went on Twitter, her office did, and said that this woman, not that she was getting fired, but that she didn't deserve to have her job? Well, you know, I think there's a lot of people in the world, in Washington and definitely in the White House, that haven't been taking Melania Trump seriously. And I think they should start taking her seriously. I don't think anything should be said or done around Mrs. Trump that wouldn't be done around Michelle Obama, Hillary Clinton, Laura Bush, any first lady. And she's starting to feel her role and get secure in her public image. And I'm not surprised that she's starting to act in ways like this and take it more seriously. And it's interesting you mentioned Michelle Obama or Hillary Clinton. What if they had done that, what she did the other day, by saying this woman doesn't deserve this job? Don't there, you think there'd be a, some... This, this has happened before, not as publicly, not in the Twitter format. Keep in mind, with, with each year and each administration, we know more about them and the 24-hour news cycle and social media. There's more outlets. But first ladies have been involved in their husbands' administrations and their staffing and the hiring and firing of uh, members of staff and administration for a very long time. Hillary Clinton had incidents like this that weren't as widely publicized. Uh, Nancy Reagan did the same. So, again, I think people are surprised because they know about it now, not that it hasn't been going on. There are some reports that her office didn't consult, her office in the East Wing didn't consult with the president and the president's staff in the West Wing. What do you want to say to that, if that, in, in fact, is true? Well, we don't know, you know, and even whatever statement is put out, you don't know how true that is or how accurate or when someone talked to another person. I think Melania Trump is not afraid to step out from under the umbrella of her husband's uh, uh, administration, her husband's White House, and create this identity for herself. We see this with acts like going to the border, taking her own trip to Africa, and other statements she'd made regarding spats that the president has had with sports figures and things. So she is cutting her own image, and uh, I think it's a good thing for her. And she's obviously a lot more comfortable because we all remember how hesitant she was to take on the position of FLOTUS. Well, she was. And keep in mind, even though she was this supermodel and wife of Donald Trump, she wasn't a highly public figure. Um, you know, she's not a big public speaker. She wasn't an actress. She didn't do things like this on, on a grand scale or the large stage like she's doing as First Lady. But she's a very intelligent and very confident and very capable woman. And the longer we see her in this role, the more we see her embracing it. And again, I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with, with the First Lady thus far. What about her relationship uh, with her stepdaughter, Ivanka? There were some reports that Ivanka was going to travel to Africa, but then Melania wanted to go to. Is it, is it difficult uh, to sort of navigate their own paths? That, that is, especially when a president has older children that take a role in their, uh, in their administration. And this happened during the, uh, the Carter administration, the Ford administration. The Reagans had older children as well, especially during campaigns. And when these older children or sisters or relatives of presidents uh, prove themselves capable and become part of this administration, it's just jockeying for position and everyone figuring out what their role is and where they're supposed to be. Uh, FDR, the longest sitting president in history, his wife, Eleanor Roosevelt, had this uh, power struggle with FDR's mother, Sarah. Uh, so again, it's something that we've seen. It's just people don't know the history. It's not widely known or reported. Um, and, and we're seeing it all play out in this, in this very unusual administration. Indeed. Andrew Oak, thank you. Appreciate it. Talk to you again. Always a pleasure.